and welcome to my second video in this series about energy and ecosystems and today we're going to be looking at energy transfer. Um, so last time we finished off by looking at um, a pyramid of energy and we were discussing that this is the best of the pyramids um, as it shows it doesn't have a lot of the problems that you associate with pyramid of number um, because a pyramid of number doesn't take into account the size um, of the organisms and the pyramid of biomass um, which can be dependent on how quickly um, organisms reproduce and so energy um, pyramids are the best because they show the energy going directly from one um, trophic level to another and remembering a trophic level here um, refers to um, essentially a type of organism that you find and so looking at these then you have several different um, you have essentially four trophic levels and so here at the bottom you have your autotrophs and so they, these are the organisms that photosynthesize to produce their food and higher up you have your primary consumers those feed upon um, the autotrophs or the um, producers and then you have your secondary and um, that feed upon the primary and then therefore your tertiary so the eagle that feeds upon the snake um, and you'll notice here that as you go up the amount of energy um, towards the top of the pyramid actually reduces and if you remember some the reason for that is is some of the energy um, is lost through respiration from the organism respiring so producing heat the organism also produces faeces and urine and so some energy goes into that um, and some material is undigested in the organism so for example um, when the eagle eats the snake a lot of the bones aren't digested by the eagle um, and so therefore energy is wasted um, in that respect and when we finished off last time we looked at the unit for energy which is um, kilojoules per meters um, squared per year and so this gives us um, a good value that we can compare because it not only takes into account um, the amount of energy so kilojoules it takes into account the area it's covered and it also takes into account a time value um, and so it's kilojoules um, per meter squared per year and so what we can do from here is we can calculate um, the amount of energy or the percentage of the energy that's transferred from one trophic level to another um, and so when we look at this you can see that our value is 10% and so but there's a specific equation that we can use to be able to calculate this um, and that equation um, is the energy efficiency um, what you do is you sorry skewed that out of the way you would take the energy available after the transfer and divide that by the energy energy available before the transfer and then multiply by 100 and so what you'd end up with, if you look at this, what you have, if we look at the these values here, so if we go from um, the producers to the primary consumers, what you do is the energy taken after the transfer, so that's a thousand um, in this case, and we can ignore the units here, so these should be um, kilojoules per metre squared per year, but we'll keep them as this for the while. And so it's a thousand divided by 10,000 and then times by 100 which is our 10%. Now obviously in an exam question they might give you um, values that vary somewhat but essentially it's always the same. You always take um, the second number divided by the first and then times that by 100 and that gives you um, the percentage transfer. So that's seen um, as this. So you can see this here um, written out. So this is between the um, autotroph and the primary consumer. Um, it works out at 10%. In fact all of the values here are 10%. You know if you've done something wrong, if you calculate the energy transfer, if um, your value is over 100, you've probably got the numbers muddled up. The first number that you put in the equation always must be smaller um, because you can't have more than 100% transfer. Um, you can't have, for instance, all of the energy plus a bit more in the snake going into the bird. What you'll find is that the majority um, of energy pyramids can only um, sustain around three to four trophic levels and the reason for this is is the efficiency of the energy transfer is usually at 10 percent and so even if this is very broad at the bottom and very large to transfer enough energy to go up three um, or four trophic levels is difficult five is very very difficult um, and so there won't be enough energy at the top um, for your top predator and therefore most um, energy pyramids can only sustain um, three or four trophic levels.